Hey guys, uh, back here on the workbench, and uh, I just wanted to show you something I got here today. This is my my backpack that I use. Um, now, you know, there's a lot of nice FPV packs out there. You can get, you know, Low Pro or, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of bags, but they're pretty expensive. Uh, and I just could not justify spending $100 on a backpack. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they're great, but $100, that's another run cam. That's, you know, a, a tiny whoop. I, I wasn't going to spend that much on a pack. So I got this. And when I bought this pack, you know, I got this off of Amazon. And it's ridiculously cheap. It was less than $20. And I, I figured, you know, I would get a year out of it at most. But I've had it for over two years, and it's still going strong. There's nothing wrong with it. And I've carried it, like, every weekend, you know, to flying spots, you know, to different events. It, it's just been great, and and uh, I want to share it with you guys. So if you're looking for a cheap pack, you know, this is definitely an option. So the only thing that, that went wrong with this pack over the last two years is right here some stitching came out right on this front pocket, right around this corner. And it was no big deal. I just took some 10-pound fishing line and fixed it right up. Other than that, it's absolutely in perfect condition. And uh, like I said, I've used it a lot. It's comfortable. It carries all my gear. And, uh, you know, it's cheap. So I'm going to show you how we packed it up. We've got two quads on the outside. I just stuck these two on here. You know, I've got a, it's a QAVR with a R9 on it. And that's a Copus 1 with a... Run cam three stuck to the top. So I take my props off, but you don't need to. They go on just as easily with the props on. I just like to take them off when I pack the bag up. So let me get the quads off of here, and I'll show you how the rest of the gear that fits in here. It can hold pretty much everything you need to fly. So give me a second here. We'll get these quads off. We'll take a look inside. All right, so I took my quads off. It took about a minute to get those off of there. And... Uh, you see, there's a lot of options for mounting stuff to this pack. You got a lot of straps, a lot of uh, places you can put things. I generally put one quad under this strap here, and then one strap to this. I've actually strapped like four quads to this pack without much of a problem. Without props, four quads goes on no problem. You got lots of options over here on the sides for straps and places to put things. Now, I'll show you the rest of the, the way I pack my bag. Just lay that down there like that. So in this pocket, I've got tools. In this little front pocket right here, we've got you know some snippers, prop wrenches, uh, various nuts and bolts I might need, some double-sided tape, duct tape, some straps, a marker, you know, just various things that you might need. So that's my tool pouch. They all go in there, no problem. Just things I might need for the day. I don't take all the tools. You know, I used to use this as my main my main way to get everything around but I don't really anymore because it just got so heavy that I didn't want to carry it anymore so now I just pack it up for the day when I'm going out you know hiking or out to some place where I need to get to carry a couple quads over some distance uh, in this pouch I just stuck some props so it's got all my props for the day it fit perfectly in there five and six inch props in there you know, obviously smaller, no problem. Even bigger, even 7-inch props will fit in here, no problem. There's 6-inch props, just plenty of space. So, I just got props in that in that one. And then in this next main pouch. Let's see what I've got in there. Goggles. Yeah, goggles fit in there, no problem. And then I've got my charger. And all the charging cables in there. I've also got a box, a box full of antennas, spare antennas, because you know we break these all the time. Also got left hand antennas in there in case I'm flying with some guys who are on right hand. I need to switch to left hand. I'm usually on right hand. I can switch to left hand. Got a left hand patch in there, so if I need to switch up my polarization, no problem. So that's what goes in this pouch. So I've also got I've got a QX7 six charger in there. Our Q6 smart charger. I actually bring two charges with me. There's a balance board attached to it. Uh, and I bring two charges with me because the QX6s is, is a good charger for XT60 batteries. 
but like for goggle batteries, for um, radio batteries, I usually bring this little 3 amp IMAX charger. It, it works perfectly well, and um, you know, for batteries that you're charging slower and you don't need to get flight packs in the air, you need to get your radio recharged or your goggles recharged. This is the charger I use for that. All that's in there, and there's still, as you can see, <laughs> plenty of more space. I put my goggles back in there. And uh, with all that in there, you can see there's still plenty more room for more stuff in there. If you got more stuff you need to carry, this bag is going to carry it all no problem. So, one more pouch to go through real quick. And that's the big main pocket here. Now, what I keep in the big main pocket here is batteries. There's my bag of flight batteries, and I just stuck a bunch of batteries in here just to show you. There's a, you know, a bunch of 1,300 and 1,500 packs in there, some spare goggle battery, um, a couple of special charging cords for various things. So that's in there, and I put my radio in this pack, and you see there's still, like I said, so much more room in here. There's another pocket here I'm not even using for anything. Right here in the back is like a separate zipper pouch I'm not using. There's a, there's a netted pouch here I'm not using for anything. Just because the pack is, you know, got all my stuff and it's heavy enough to carry. What more do I need? This is going to be my radio. Just zip that. And there you go. Got my Tyrannus in there. Got my R9 module stuck over here on the side. Ready to go. And uh, that's it. That's all that's in this pack. So this pack has treated me well. So I want to let you guys know. Because, um, you know, packs are expensive. And for less than $20... You know, you can get this pack off Amazon. I'm going to find a link and uh, put it in the description so that you guys can pick this thing up too. Because, man, it works really well. So, there you go. I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, we'll see you next time.